Well, this is something I've never done before because I'm too impatient to do this. I've been saving up packages for the last month and a half and I'm gonna do a mail day video. Yay! So this is a collection of packages that I've received from uh, Facebook purchases, eBay purchases, you name it. I've just been dying to get some of these things opened up. This package I've had for quite a while I know what's in everything. I'm really itching to get these things opened up, but I thought I would do for fun, you know, open up everything all at once. Now, there is one package that I opened up last night. I did a quick video, so I'll show you that right now, and then I'll get into cracking these open. All right, so I'm just gonna get at it. This one's important for today. I know what it is already. Uh, the numbers are vinyl, but if they were sewn on, I might uh, strip it, but in this case, I'm not going to. And this is, I believe, a triple X large, 4X large, so it should be no problem fitting for me. And that's going to go into use tonight. So again, this is just a variety of different things related to my hobby. I'll start off real quick, just show you this uh, Cooper stick because this wasn't actually shipped to me. This was a driveway pickup, and my friend Steve gave me this. This is a really cool stick in really good shape. This is a Cooper Superstar Lie 13, and it's, it's a dandy. It's a wood stick, straight blade, missing the uh, labels on it. It had uh, like some packing tape wrapped around there, uh, and I checked. It was all loose and dried out. It came right off. It fell right off. And I checked and on the back side of that packing tape was not the, uh, the paddle wraps and the uh, wrap from the shaft. I think it's mostly been kind of a display thing in someone's basement. Next, we're gonna tear this one open. Uh, this was a more recent package. This I bought from Ed Coverly. Uh, you may have heard that name before. So let's get it ripped open. Oh, wow, that is nice. Yeah, so that is a recreation of a shirt, quite possibly just an employee shirt. I'm not sure, but the photo was an employee uh, that's had this shirt since the 90s. So it was an employee that of the Cooper Company. Uh, the gentleman was an employee for like 40 years, and there was a photo shared of him wearing this shirt. So Ed was able to get the uh, graphics recreated and selling these shirts and that is that is a high quality shirt give me one second so there it is that's pretty awesome this is a real high quality shirt if you're interested in one of these reach out to coverly masks facebook page i'll put a link in the description but you'll find him on facebook just reach out to him there and you can place an order he's got lots of different varieties available of uh different retro brand uh shirts so now we'll move on to this one here. This one is a little bit uh, not so vintage actually, but it came highly recommended to me and I have a feeling I'll need one of these in the near future. This is from uh, Bishop Designs and this is a, find it here. This is a, I believe it's called a cage beetle. I'll double check and I'll put the information in the description. Uh, this is a uh, like a COVID mask for your regular full size, like modern style uh, goalie cage. It's a, kind of a translucent material, rubberized material, and it has these little straps that wrap back through little slots. So you put that over or under your uh, cage bars and then back on, and then it will deflect your breath Looking forward to that, uh, trying that out here in the near future. I got the, I believe I got the large size, which has longer or extra large, maybe it was called. It has longer tabs on it. And I did that because I measured some of my vintage masks. Um, I figured I was going to need the longer straps to make it work because they're wider uh, cages. 
this one here, this was an eBay purchase. This took a long time to get here. Just a kind of a memorabilia thing. I haven't seen it yet except for a picture. Yeah, this is cool. This is an old pocket protector that would have been most likely issued to stores kind of as a handout for the owner of the sporting goods store that was a, a retailer of Cooper or even employees. My guess is this is an employee one. Um, and so you, if you, you, know, you had your pocket on your shirt, you'd slide that in and you'd have the little advertising flap there. And then you put your ink pens in there and it protects your ink pen from staining your white shirt, your dress shirt. Really cool. Kind of, I, I kind of really like having these little knickknack type memorabilia things. Uh, yeah, this one here, this is another eBay purchase. No, sorry. This is a Facebook purchase. Facebook Marketplace. I took a risk on this because it was low priced. It's very sweet, but have a feeling yeah this is a size small but that's that's a vintage uh like 1994-95 youth hockey jersey it's a size small so it's probably for youth in fact it actually has philadelphia flyers youth hockey on the shoulders so this would have been youth issued for a hockey camp but uh that's pretty cool it's got the the names the names wear slogan on it and I believe I've only seen that in 94 or 95, uh, right at the end of the run before Nike bought them out. And there's the back with a number two. I'm not sure what I'll do with that yet. I may, I may turn this into a crest and, and uh, sew that onto a bigger jersey so I can wear it. I haven't thought about it yet. This is from Jordan at Motown Signs. He's an awesome artist. And lately he's been doing these flash sales of art he's been producing. And I just had to jump on this. These are actually stickers based on some art pieces he just did. And I'm excited to show you this. Right, so I got several packs. First, we're Red Wings fans up here. And uh, I know Jordan is too. And so he did a series of little uh, I think he did them as paintings as well and then turned them into these stickers. These are kind of novelty type stickers, you know, as fans of the Red Wings. There are four designs in it and I'll break this open and show you those in close-ups. Then I got several packs of his Great Goalies line. Now these were big butcher paper type neat fluorescent neon paintings he did. They were really amazing. Um, they sell very fast when he has his sales but he did stickers for the set. So I, I bought a set of the stickers in part one. Um, we have Belfour, Hextall. I'll break these open and show you these. These are super cool. I'm gonna put a link to his Instagram page and his, I think he has like a Square or a Shopify page, but you wanna follow him on Instagram because he announces the sales on Instagram and they sell fast. And then I also got the part two series, which is Vernon, Chris Osgood, and Cujo. And again, I'll show you the close-ups of these, but these are so cool. I was so excited to get these. And again, these are based on the full-size paintings he did. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to put a Red Wing sticker on my truck. It's awesome. These next two packages I've had on hand for a while. It's been killing me to not crack them open. This is an eBay purchase. I gotta be real gentle. I always see people doing unboxing videos. They whip out these big knives or these box cutters and they just whack across it and always scares me. Well, I just messed that up. They put the seam over here. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't cut through the tape super easy. That's better. Looks like they're individually wrapped. So I'll set them aside. Get this box out of the way. More tape. Oh, wow. Cooper GM 12 PF. PF means protected fingers. Needs a new palm. And it's gonna need a new board also. 
black leather though. Man, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna need a new horse hide palm. Little bit of repair work to it. Probably just clean this up right here. This is a, the, the black has come off of the nylon. Maybe do some research and see if there's something I can do to kind of put some more color back on that again, or maybe have that section of nylon replaced with black when I get the palm done. That's pretty awesome. Now, the one thing that I noticed right away, which isn't gonna bother me because it, the plastic seems to be broken, somebody used a black Sharpie marker and filled in all the holes on the black plastic. Um, or maybe they spray took it out and spray painted it, I don't know. But uh, either way, I'm gonna put a regular you know, white plastic in there and treat this leather with Lexol. So set that over here, grab this. A little smushed in shipping to reshape this. So T is going to need relaced, but here we are with uh, GM12. Someone added the, uh, it looks like they added, used a T, a pocket T to make a cheater with, but I'll do a tear down on this and we'll get it rebuilt. Uh, black leather, these are so hard to find um, in almost any condition. Overall, it looks like maybe just the guts need to be redone. The pinky loop needs replaced. Thumb loop needs replaced. A little bit of work. It'll be a tear down and rebuild from the inside out. Clean up that leather. Probably get rid of this crazy T that was added or this cheater. I'll get this cleaned up and get it rebuilt. And then eventually I'll show this off probably on Instagram. And I'll get it on the ice. Right. Final package. This was a Facebook purchase, and this came from Quebec. Uh, good dude, Pascal, helped me out, did the pickup for me, and packed it all up and shipped it to me. It's great to have, you know, connections like that that are willing to help you out when they can, and I'm grateful. So I'm gonna start cutting on this and carefully get it opened up. This is one of those packages you don't want to go crazy with the knife. A really cost-effective way to ship from Canada to the U.S. and pretty much anywhere with pads is to wrap them in heavy plastic. I buy shrink wrap and I shrink wrap them. Some people do this and tape the heck out of it. One hour later. The big unveiling. Maybe. Oh, they're wrapped even more. Eventually. Now we're getting somewhere. Thirty-two inch blue and white Cooper Legends. Overall, not bad shape. Needs just a little bit of cleanup, which is just really easy to do. Toe uh, bindings look decent. Not too bad up here, just a little scuffed up on the thigh binding and just a little dirty on the nylon, the Cordura. Maybe could use some new straps just because of the, the dusting of the colored layer comes off when you run them through. Let's take a look at that other one. Right on, pretty good condition. Just a little bit of cleanup. These bad boys will be back on the ice. So uh, these were important to me because I have the white and blue uh, glove set, which is the three pocket glove as well. I did a whole review on the Legends series of gear. So I'll put a link to that here. Um, so you can learn more about why the Legends gear is so cool. Um, looks like I need a toe buckle on that one. Again, easy repair. Yeah, that's pretty awesome to have another full set matched colors, you know, retail colors of a set of gear like this. Well, that is it, that's mail day. It's been killing me to not have this stuff already in my hands, um, but I thought it might be fun to kind of show you that, you know, it's a never ending process when you're a collector like this. I will say I have um, two more packages on the way as of today. I just didn't want to wait. 
But hopefully this was fun for you to see. It's like Christmas for me. I, I don't know how else to explain that. But every time I get a package is that way. I'll end the video with some kind of close up pictures of all the different gear, all the different pieces that I just received. And uh, thanks for watching.